Okay, so here we have polynomial division. This is actually one of our quiz questions. Just want to show you kind of how this is going to work. We're going to take this divided by this. It's a little bit confusing because we have here we have one term, two terms. What I would need you to kind of think about is the fact that we're just going to divide by the first term and the second term, if you will, follows. So what we're going to do first is 3x to the fourth divided by x squared. So here we have it here, 3x to the fourth divided by x squared. So x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So the first term we're going to get here is 3x squared. And then let it follow. 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. Let's go back up here. Remember the second term is going to follow. So 3x squared times positive 1 is 3x squared. Can't put it here. I have to put a placeholder here because these are x cubes that go here, right? But here we're going to put this 3x squared. Now remember, first we divide, then we multiply, then we subtract. In this case, it's a little bit more specific because when we subtract, we have to subtract out this whole quantity. So we're going to subtract out this whole quantity here. What I do is I just take a negative sign here. So I'm going to subtract this whole thing. This becomes negative. This becomes negative, and this, in this case, also becomes negative. I'm going to go ahead and do our subtraction, which would look like this. And we have negative x squared minus 3x squared is negative 4x squared, isn't it? We have nothing to subtract this from, so we have positive 2x cubed. Subtract nothing is 2x cubed. And 3x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth is 0, right? Okay, so we use this now, of course, just like we've always done division, we bring down the next term. So we bring this down, and we start the division process again. So now we have 2x cubed divided by x squared is, I think, 2x, isn't it? So plus 2x here. So we did the division, now the multiplication. 2x's times x squared is 2x cubed, right? Then follow the next one. 2x's times 1 is positive 2x's. Remember, it can't go here because these are x squareds. So we put 0 here, and we actually should put 0x squareds. But for expediency, I'm going to skip it. Plus 2x, right? Where did the 2x come from? 2x times 1 is 2x. So we divided, we multiplied. Now we are going to subtract. So remember, when we do the subtraction process, we're going to subtract out this whole quantity. So we have to subtract everything out of here. So this was a negative sign here. Going to subtract this out, so this becomes negative, becomes negative, and lastly, this becomes negative, doesn't it? Do our subtraction. Negative x minus two x's is negative three x's, right? Good. Here, look, there was nothing to subtract here, so we have negative four x squared minus zero is negative four x squared, right? Negative four x squared here. Good enough. Okay, and then of course this cancels itself out. Now we're going to bring down this negative 6, right? Bringing down again. After we bring down, then we're going to start the division process again. Okay, so we have negative 4x squared divided by x squared, I believe is negative 4, isn't it? So here's that negative 4. Start the multiplication process. Negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Let me move this down a little bit. So it is negative 4x squared. Makes sense. Here we have negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4, isn't it? Remember, we're going to subtract this whole quantity out. So when we subtract this whole quantity out, we're going to get, get this whole quantity is taken out, right? And here is the negative. Negative times a negative. In this case, now we, this goes to positive, doesn't it? And we're getting, subtracting the whole quantity out. So negative times a negative here is also a positive. This, a lot of people make a mistake here. So keep track of this. But now we have negative 6 plus positive 4 is negative 2. Negative 3 x's plus 0 or minus 0 is negative 3 x's. And of course, negative 4x is plus, I'm sorry, negative 4x squared plus positive 4x squared is 0, right? 
but I think finally we have our solution. And our solution is this. Okay, what what is this piece down here? There's we know that x squared cannot go into go into three x's. Therefore, this is our remainder. This is our remainder. Wow, I swear that says remainder. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. There's your first uh, quiz question answered. And it should work if you go back and you multiply this times this and add this back to it, add your remainder back to it. You should get right back to this. Hope it was helpful.